and welcome to the 1st of September gold market update after a August that finished to the downside for markets as a whole. Let's look at what's coming across the news right now. Overnight in the US, we saw markets sustain the fourth straight day of losses on the major indices after weaker than expected ADP jobs data and concerns about growth reigniting as well of course as the hawkish fed we've heard from in the last few days including another fed member last night prior to market open u.s futures slide again in early asian trading and asian indices have followed that weaker u.s lead asx is dramatically the underperformer in asia down two percent and european futures are suggesting a lower open also US dollar index paused at 20 year high still yesterday, but pushed higher in Asia this morning over resistance. Commodities have dropped again across the board. Gold is now near 1700 again, approaching the six week low. All has dropped below the 200 EMA, and copper has broken that 360 support and is at 340, which represents a monthly low on copper. VIX has moved back up to 25 and the 200 EMA. It is testing that in Asian trading today. Bitcoin is testing 20,000 again. Seems to be fairly well supported at this stage, but there doesn't seem to be any buying appetite at all for cryptos. Certainly the mood has not been helped by weaker than expected Chinese PMI data out this morning. That's certainly impacted on the Australian market. Later on, we've got US weekly jobs and global PMI throughout the day from the UK the rest of Europe and of course the US tonight. We're going to leave an ASX chart for today as markets are generally lower across all sectors. But in the FX market, if we look at the Euro Yen pair, you can see there we had this triple bottom formation using the 200 MA as the support on the daily chart. You can see that push through over the last three days. This was on the back of some higher than expected inflation indicators yesterday out of Europe has pushed it right to the top of this resistance level yesterday. And we'll see the follow through in Asia today. If we just look at the hourly chart, you can see that in a little more detail. So we're looking really for a break of this pivot high around 140. And if we look back at the chart, that would represent a high not seen since the 19th of July. So around about six weeks ago. Across the board, the euro is looking strong against most pairs. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.